thunderstorms blow up in a matter of minutes and they'll blow across this part of the state and power is lost on a regular basis. We don't have the luxury of being without power here at Halifax. It could cost a life. Backup power, emergency power throughout the hospital is essential. You can't get along without it. You can't be a hospital without it. It makes me feel good that that patient that's laying up on whatever floor he's on or whatever bed he's in or whatever operating room they're in is safe because I'm here and I know that my MTU units will come on. Halifax Medical Center opened in 1928. Today we're up to 35 acres and going strong. The emergency department at Halifax Health is pretty impressive. It's uh, the largest in the state of Florida. It's approximately 90,000 square feet. Halifax's bed count is over 900 beds. The new French Tower at Halifax is uh, 10 floors. It's over half a million square feet. Halifax built the French Tower out of the need for more beds. It was completed in 2009 and added 180 beds to their existing bed count. The original plan for the central energy plant was three 1,500 MTU units paralleled. When we got into looking at the rest of the hospital, we found that we could use a fourth. So we went ahead and got another one ordered and installed it right alongside of the other three. I probably specify a, a couple dozen on-site energy projects a year. Our company has been consulting with Halifax Health for 20 plus years now. I've got to do all the transfer switches. I can't just do part of them. I've got to do the whole right, entire right, facility. Right. MTU Onsite Energy won the bid at Halifax for numerous reasons. The size that we chose, the 1500 KW units, all four of them had what I call a sweet spot for, for performance, cost, reliability, you know, all, all, all key factors. So we don't have any uh, regulations? Is a, is a double wall tank? Is it just a single wall, wall tank? Wall. What I would say to any other company that's looking at MTU is look at the specifications on the units that you're going to compare them to. They need to look line by line and make sure they're getting what they want. What someone is calling load factor here may not be the same on the other guy's documentation. So you got to really understand what that number is representing and how they come up with those numbers. And dealing with MTU and their guys, you know, they're, they're pretty honest about it. They, they you know, kind of break down saying, well, this is what this really means. And you get a good understanding from not just a sales guy trying to sell you something, from a technical person trying just to communicate, hey, this is where it comes from. The MTU on-site energy units here at Halifax back up the emergency department. All right, I'm going to get an x-ray of your hand now. The patient tower above. Okay. And all the mechanical components in the central energy plant. When we're specifying a gen set for hospital applications, uh, it has to be able to take on the critical or priority one loads within 10 seconds of an outage. The prospect for MTU on-site energy and, and healthcare is, is at the top of the list. I mean, they, they are mission critical units. I've been here at Halifax for 30 years, and I've been dealing with my MTU distributor for just a little over 21 years and they are the backbone of my service department. When I have a problem, those people are here when I call. The message that's on my door is when you're in the business of saving lives, your electricity is critical. MTU provides me with a lot of peace of mind. I stake my job on, on their dependability.